is going to be a scary season. Call him a tight end, call him a yes, wide sir. receiver, with the best catch radius in college football. Here is Pitts. Run, young man, run. Touchdown, Gators. The next great NFL tight end is being hailed as perhaps the best prospect ever at his position. And he isn't even old enough to buy a beer yet. Offensive coordinators are constantly looking for mismatches. Be it attacking a weak run defense or scheming up a particular concept that could result in a huge gain, coaches are always hunting for an edge. One way to achieve that edge? Find an elite tight end, which is much easier said than done. Trask looks to throw, fires down the field, got a receiver, it's Kyle Pitts, and Pitts breaks free. He's going to go all the way. I love you, Kyle Pitts. I want a Kyle Pitts jersey. I want a fat head of Kyle Pitts on my wall. In recent years, we've witnessed the dominance of Travis Kelsey and George Kittle, while no tight end has been more difficult to slow down at his own apex than Rob Gronkowski. Each of them too big to cover with a cornerback, too fast to cover with a linebacker. While Florida tight end Kyle Pitts entered the 2020 season as one of the better tight ends of the country, he exploded into superstardom during an abbreviated year, catching 12 touchdowns in just eight games and winning the John Mackey Award, handed out annually to the nation's best tight end. Standing at six foot six and close to 240 pounds, Pitts was utilized in a variety of ways by Florida in 2020. And whether he was deployed as a traditional end of the line player, aligned in the slot, or flexed out wide, college defenses were without an answer for him. He filled up the stat sheet and single-handedly ruined defensive game plans throughout the season. Covered or wide open, quarterback Kyle Trask knew throwing to Pitts was a safe bet. His 66 targets in 2020 were the most by any player amongst Power 5 schools that did not record a single drop. Explosive, dynamic, and sure-handed, Pitts has a chance to join the select group of NFL tight ends that a team can build an offense around. The numbers are compelling, but check out the film. One of the things about a tight end is it's hard to find one that can win at the top of the route. And this player right here, makes Kyle Pitts look like a wide receiver one in the NFL against an overmatched defensive back. You see Pitts right here, who has driven a little bit of a Y wing formation. Again, right here. Look at the space that he's already created. One stiff arm, next thing you know, Kyle Pitts is off to the races. Just look at this guy, by the way. If you saw him, he said, is that a frame of a tight end or a wide receiver? It may look like a wide receiver. He's just six foot six, 240 pounds, and he can block when called upon. Watch this route running. Again, I'm gonna highlight Kyle Pitts right here. And watch this, it's what we call a return route. Remember that in the red zone, especially deep into the red zone, you got boundaries to work with, both as an offensive player and a defensive player. This defender who's going to attempt, and I use that word sort of generously to cover Kyle Pitts, he is lined up a shade inside of Kyle Pitts, almost inviting him to the outside. In theory, you should be able to handle those outbreaking routes. That's why I say in theory, as you run the play here and you can see, bam, look at this right now. For him to stutter down, get low, keep his feet and keep moving, this is just too easy. Wide open Kyle Pitts, he is so impressive in the red zone. One more time to see him here. Watch him throttle down his weight. To do that and to spin that quickly and nimbly, not common for a player of his size. Keep it running here and again, watch this route running here and then to make a great contested catch as well. Split out wide in this scenario, so not playing in line and bam. Wins with his hands a little bit in his release and he hasn't totally generated separation within the top, within the bottom of the route, but at the top of the route here, the way that he just sort of gently pushes off, which you know maybe a ref throws a flag there in a couple of instances, but more often than not, he is not throwing a flag against Kyle Pitts. And then watch him use this frame to make this catch where he, again, collects it in both hands. This is not a player who's gonna have to, you know, catch the ball with his chest. Everything is with the hands with Kyle Pitts. In the red zone, again, and I get it, this defensive player is a little bit upset. Where's the call, ref? What's the deal? Not when you have a star player like Kyle Pitts. Refs are not gonna be throwing that flag. Another touchdown here for the Florida tight end. I want you to watch this one, and again, the beginning portion of this play, you saw Kyle Pitts right here. He's aligned in line, a traditional tight end look. Now, sometimes when a player is covered, a quarterback knows don't throw it. Watch the trust of his quarterback, Kyle Trask, on this throw right here, because it may look ill-advised. Perhaps it is a little bit, but when you've got Kyle Pitts, he can undo bad decisions. Just let this run right here, simple route up the seam, and all right, here's a problem. Here's Kyle Pitts, one defender, Two, to player, two defenders, both guys 
locking in on Kyle Pitts. Spells danger, you would think, right? Uh, he gets held there. He's got contact. No problem. And again, watch this. Just look at his hands. Always catching the ball, inviting them into his hands, but going up and snatching it when he needs to as well. In the red zone, there is no answer for Kyle Pitts. J.C. Horn, elite player, one of the best cornerbacks in football this past year. Watch the route running, and then watch this competitive catch. Arm wrestling the entire time. That ball, like, J.C. Horn, this is great coverage right here. This is great coverage. You got a defender trying to get his hands through your hands. And what does Kyle Pitts do? He holds on to the ball consistently. He does not drop the football at all. This is what Kyle Pitts does at his best. Even when he is covered, he is open. And then watch this. You just don't see this kind of athleticism from a, from a tight end very frequently at the NFL level and certainly at the college level as well. Running back to defensive player. Okay, there's one yard of separation right here. Watch out. We're off to the races, baby. Next thing you know, no one can catch Kyle Pitts, one of the best players in the red zone in all of college football. And go ahead and flex Kyle Pitts, one of the best players that we've seen at the position in a long time. Again, generating separation at the top of this route, you got a defensive back who should have him in coverage. Nope, stutters, works one step in, out, right back in. Next thing you know, gets that defender's hips turned and it is over against Kyle Pitts. You better have more than one plan because it's not often that a single defensive player can hold down the Florida tight end. There are those that believe the tight end position is one of the most unique on the field in the NFL. Tight ends are required to have proficiency in route running, run blocking, and also pass protection. Finding a difference maker at the position can unlock new levels to an offense. Just ask any of the previous three teams to win the Super Bowl. But there's something of a football unicorn. Kyle Pitts is further along now as a receiver than a blocker, but it's apparent already that his current trajectory could lead him to emerge as the NFL's next movable chess piece at tight end, which is an invaluable piece any NFL roster.